welcome to pharmacomania today we are going to discuss about excretion of the drug so there are four agendas excretion of drug clearance and kinetic of elimination plasma half life and steady state concentration of the drug so first of all excretion of the drug so organ involved in elimination or excretion of the drug are major roots are kidney fecal root biliary or hepatic root and pulmonary root minor roots are salivary bread milk sweat and skin or hair these are the various root of drug elimination so we all know that administration of drug by any root oral rectal percutaneous intravenous intramuscular intrathecal or inhalation all drugs goes into plasma and excreted through various route like urine feces milk sweat and through lung renal excretion drugs are eliminated from the body primarily by the kidney the principal renal mechanisms that are involved in excretion of drug are glomerular filtration tubular secretion and tubular reabsorption so this is the first one is the glomerular filtration so each and any drug which is present in the plasma which it, it filter through the glomerular filtration and enter into the tubule glomerular filtration and active tubular secretion is facilitate drug excretion whereas tubular reabsorption decrease drug excretion it uh, retain in the body so first is the glomerular filtration drug with smaller molecular size are mo uh, more readily filtered the excellence of the filtration is directly proportional to the glomerular filtration rate and to the fraction of the unbound drug in the plasma so free drug is readily filter from the glomerular smaller size and free drug are filter from the glomeruli the ultra structure of the glomerular capillary wall is such that it permit a high degree of fluid filtration while restricting the passage compound having relatively large molecule so smaller molecule will filter from the glomeruli and larger will retain in the from the glomeruli this selective filtration is important in that it prevent the filtration of the plasma protein like albumin that are important for the maintaining an osmotic gradient in the vasculature and thus plasma volume several factors including molecular size charge and shape influence the glomerular filtration of the large molecule as the ultra filtration is formed any drug that is free in the plasma water that is not bound to the plasma protein or the formed element in the blood will be filtered as a result of driving force provided by the cardiac pump now passive tubular reabsorption what is it passive tubular reabsorption it is the main drugs which are present in the tubular fluid which is reabsorbed through the tubular epithelium to the tissue through tissue tubular wall and reabsorb and stored in the body the main factor affecting passive reabsorption is the ph of renal tubular fluid and the degree of ionization strongly acidic drug and strongly basic drug remain in the ionized form at the ph of urine they are excreted in urine tubular reabsorption in distal tubule there is passive excretion and reabsorption of the drugs drugs which are present in the glomerular filtration and can be reabsorbed in the tubule a reason for this that much of the water in the filtrate has been reabsorbed and therefore the concentration gradient is now the direction of the reabsorption hence drug may be readily reabsorbed so this is the uh, picture of the renal 
nephron and this is the uh, drugs are filtered into the glomeruli and enter into tubule this is the proximal tubule and drug enter through the loop of henle and into the proximal a distal colloidal tubule where the concentration of water is more so water reabsorb from this part along with water drug also reabsorb from distal colloidal tubule now weakly acidic drug and weakly basic drug is salicylate and barbiturate are the weakly acidic drug in acidic urine remain mainly in unionized form so they are reabsorb into the circulation in distal tubule if ph of urine is made alkaline by sodium bicarbonate so these drugs like salicylate and barbiturate bind with the sodium bicarbonate and ionized with the sodium bicarbonate and excreted in urine easily while weakly basic drug like morphine and amphetamine these drug are alkaline in nature so remain in an un unionized in alkaline urine and they are reabsorb in the distal tubule if the ph of urine is made acidic by vitamin c this drug will ionized with vitamin c and excreted easily now active tubular secretion what is active tubular secretion it is the carrier mediated active transport where drug is secreted in the tubule from the body or other tissues so in, for the secretion of this drug into the tubule they require some active transport for active carrier mediated protein for transportation of drug from tissue to the tubule so active secretion is unaffected by in changes in ph of urine and protein binding most of the acidic drug like penicillin diuretics probenecid and sulfonamides are acidic drug and some are basic like quinine procaine morphine are secreted in renal tubule so carrier system is relatively non selective and therefore drugs having similar physico chemical properties compete for same carrier like there are two drug with similar physico chemical property they by they compete to bind carrier protein like probenecid and penicillin both having phys similar physico chemical property so they compete to bind with the carrier system or carrier protein and probenecid is the bind with the carrier protein and ionize with form the ionization and excrete in urine when penicillin remain in the body so increase the efficacy and half life of the penicillin so the in therapeutic purpose we can give penicillin with probenecid to increase the efficacy efficacy of the probenecid these are the various mechanism of drug excretion so in first in this picture filtration occur only drug filter from glomeruli and excrete whole drug in second picture filtration and partial reabsorption so drug filter from glomeruli and partial drug reabsorb and enter into the circulation in third picture filtration and complete reabsorption so drug filter from glomeruli and completely reabsorb through tubule and fourth one is the filtration and secretion first filtration at the glomerulus and some drug also secreted in the tubule so these are the various mechanism of the excretion so next route of drug administer a drug uh, excretion is through bile a drug excreted in bile may be reabsorbed from gastrointestinal tract or a drug conjugate may be hydrolyzed by gut bacteria liberating original drug which can be returned to the general circulation such recycling may continue by hepato uh, enterohepatic circulation until the drug either undergoes metabolic changes in the liver and excreted by kidney or both such enterohepatic recycle 
if extensive may prolong significantly the presence of the drug or toxin and is effects within a body prior to elimination by other pathway orally administered activated charcoal or an iron exchange resin have been used to cl used clinically to interrupt atherohepatic cycle and trap drug into the gastrointestinal tract cholestatic disease state in which normal bile flow is reduced will influence the drug elimination by this route resulting in increased risk of drug toxicity now next route of drug elimination is the pulmonary gases and other volatile substances which are generally anesthetic substances that are enter body primarily through respiratory tract can be expected to excrete by this route no specialized transport system are involved in these uh, loss or substance in expired air simple diffusion across the cell membrane is predominant the rate of loss of gas is not constant it depends on the rate of respiratory and pulmonary flow blood flow the degree of solubility of gas in blood also will affect the rate of gas loss gases such as nitrous oxide which are not very soluble in water blood will be excreted rapidly that is almost at the rate at which the blood deliver the drug to the lung ethanol which has a relative high blood gas solubility is excreted very slowly by lungs next route is the feces drug that are not completely absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract are excreted in feces like purgative laxana are excreted through feces now next is minor root salivary secretion salivary excretion the ph of saliva varies from 5.8 to 8.4 unionized lipid soluble drugs are excreted passively the bitter taste in the mouth of the patient is indicate the drug excretion some basic drugs inhibit saliva secretion and are res responsible for the mouth dryness compounds excreted in saliva are the caffeine pheo uh, phenytoin theophylline and metronidazole it uh, alter the taste of the mouth Mem memory secretion excretion milk consists of lactic secretion which is rich in fat and protein excretion of drug in milk is important as it gain entry in the breast feeding infant pH of milk varies from 6.4 to 7.6 free unionized and lipid soluble drugs diffuse passively highly plasma bound drug like diazepam is less secreted in blood milk amount of drug excreted in milk is less than 1% and fraction consumed by the infant is too less to produce toxic effect some potent drug like the barbiturate and morphine may induce toxicity now skin excretion a drug excreted through skin via sweat follows ph partition hypothesis excretion of drug through the skin may lead to urticaria dermatitis compound like benzoic acid salicylic acid alcohol heavy metal like lead mercury and arsenic are excreted in sweat thank you for watching video